Hi. In this tutorial, we will implement a stat table from the famous um, Steal the Brain Rot meme games. So if you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to access the code or the assets of the tutorial or looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue with the tutorial. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to do a stat table uh, from the very famous uh, famous brain rot um, brain rot steal the brain rot uh, game so we'll have a a highly customizable um, stat table which I'll, now I'll right now show you how to use so first we got our device here so you need to put on play spawners here and then what you do is you define your own stats so it's you know, it's totally up to you. Uh, you can define whatever stats uh, you want. Uh, for the story, I defined the the same exact stats that exist in you know most um, steal the brain rot games. So we have a rebirth. Uh, so when you define a stat name, what you do is you define the name of that stat, which will be the you know also the identification for it. And then uh, the column width uh, for that, uh, like um, for that stats column in the table. And then if you want, um, so all these values will be kept as floating point values. So you know, values that can uh, uh, store a whole num the entire range of numbers, not just whole numbers. Um, so that's why there's a, also a formatting option. So digits to display after the decimal. And if you set it to zero, which I have did, um, then it will just display it without the decimal part. So, and it won't have a dot. So it will only display the integer part. And, um, and also it's going to abbreviate the text. So if like it's like 10 million or 1 million, like it's going to write 1M and not like one zero 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 and for all so then for a stat what you need to define is the text colors for the value so value rows all the rows that love the header row and the header row itself and the header row is the row that you know defines the uh, the name of the stat you know you'll you'll we'll see that in a second and it will make more sense so you do that for each text and I just set up some, I set up rebirth, steals and cache, right? And then to update the stat value of a player, you need to set up a stat update. And that requires a trigger, um, the update amount. Um, so in this case, I'm just increasing the rebirth by one, but I can also decrease it. So I can also do that. And the stat index. So in, in this one, I, I want to change the value of the rebirth. So I need to set the stat index to index of the rebirth. So since it's the first one, the index is zero. So I need to set the stat index to zero. And like for these ones, like I'm decreasing the cache by 100 and the cache has a stat index by two. So that's why I set it up like this. And you can see all these from the billboards as well. So they all have a separate trigger right and here also um then yeah and then a stat index for ordering so you know this is a stat table uh, and it's going to do it's going to do ordering so but based on what so in my example i'm doing the ordering using the cache stat so since it's the in uh, index 2 is the cache stat so basically the player with the most cash is going to be uh, displayed at the top and it will be it will follow uh, in the descending order. And you can decide how many uh, like rows you're going to have. You're going to have four rows. And you can then define the height of, of value rows and the header rows. So for each I've just decided 40. You then we'll also have a like um, rectangle behind the stat table. You can set the color and the opacity of it. 
and also we have you know lines on the uh, table um so you can define as so you can de um you can uh determine the thickness of that line and the color of that line and before the each um stat value columns we are going to have the uh, first the order column value uh, the order column so this is just going to be you know first second third and then we'll have the player names column and you can set the text colors for for uh, all of them as well and and then and yeah that's actually and then we have the general like layout placement of the stat table so right now we are we are positioning it on to the top right but you could also want to maybe location uh, maybe set its location to somewhere else it's totally up to you and it's and you know a little bit detail as well since i have placed it to top right i've disabled the minimap uh and you know obviously i said um you can set many stats as you want this is enabled by we don't uh, because we don't have a static table size so depending on how many stats you have and how many rows you have this stat table will basically um enlarge or shrink to that desired size so let's look at the code All right uh, so we have a couple of helper messages for the tooltip and you know we have already seen the stat data what you need to define for a stat and what you need to define for a stat update so for the agent data as you can see we are i we are just keeping all the stats in a map we are identifying them uh, so we are using their names as the key value and float just as the uh, value itself and then you just have a canvas right and we also seen all of these um so these are just some helper values so, so this one uh, denotes the start index of the canvas slots that denotes the start of the um text blocks of the value rows you know uh, on begin uh, we listen to the um, we initialize the all the stat updates then we listen to the player spawn event and in player spawn if this is a first spawn we're going to um, create the canvas we're going to create uh, agent data we are going to you know set the ui initialize the uh, and then in initialize that agent data value in the map and then update the canvas and uh, this call actually is going to update the canvas for all players and that's because you know we want it to be ordered so like if i'm get if i got some cash and maybe my order on the table has changed then like that change should be displayed on everyone right and this is the on update triggered so this is called for any um stat update uh trigger and it's just um here we just change the value of that stat for that player and then we update the stat table for all the players and when it comes to the update stat table um like we first uh, get the stat value of all the players then we just you know basically for um row uh, time so so as much as how many rows we have we get the max value so if we have four rows we're going to try to get the max value four times and then basically we are finding the top four players and if we if you're not like if the players are fewer than four then we're not finding anything and we're just basically um and not adding that index so in this one uh, in this ordered player indexes we are keeping that top three top four whatever um, players indexes and then for each player, we need to do this for each player because remember we are updating the canvas of all the players, the UI of all the players. So for all the players, we are filling uh, the row, all the rows of the um, stat table, and if we can, in uh, in that sense. Uh, and what I mean is that, like, if we have five, four rows, but we only have two players, then we are just going to fill the first two rows and then we are going to leave the rest as empty but like if you have you know 
if we have all the players uh, we have enough if we have enough players and we have we are going to fill all those values uh, on the table and you know it's just text block so we set their messages um and then let me before the canvas creation these are our little helper functions so this is a find max index you know this can be written in a generic um, way as well I believe uh, maybe not so much because we're doing a comparison actually um, so you know abbreviate number text so this is going to display the text as K M B and, and stuff like that and float the string so this is just you know converts a float with a given amount like the desired amount of digits um, using the, the desired amount of digits after the decimal um, and converse that flow to string and then let's come to the canvas creation this is just positions the stat table and then inside here we create the stat table as a separate sub canvas he, we here uh, depending on the rows and the columns uh, like the, the amount of stats we have we are calculating the size of the background then we put in the background widget then we put in the horizontal line just below the header row and then we put in the vertical lines between each like column and then uh, here we put in the header text so like uh, we start with a player name we, we literally write player name and then like we write the names of the stats that you you have defined and here we are like um, putting in text blocks, uh, text block widgets uh, for all the value rows, and these are just empty because this is the initial uh, like creation, and we we don't have any values. And that's the entire thing. You know, a um, couple of tricky things when setting, when updating the, when creating the canvas, uh, since it's all dynamic, but it's. Um, other than that it's just uh, very basic stuff so let me scroll up and so that you can see all of it all right almost done Okay. Okay. Um, I need these are message construction functions. Okay, so now I can show you how it works. So if I start the game, now we can see that it's on the me. Um, so that's uh, there is. Uh, but that's why there's only one person but you know table can fill in like four people and so I'm going to fill out get some cash you can see that I can get like 500 600 and it's going to get to 1k and now you know it stays on 1k and And it's not giving any details because, like, it's not doing 1.1k because I just have um, no decimals, like, after the digit. So, that's why. And, you know, I can get to 1 million and it works. And it's actually, it would do this uh, the same thing for these values as well, like these stats as well. But, you know, since usually you don't go like to millions to billions with, uh, with non-cash stats I didn't set up triggers for those like I didn't set up big trigger values uh, like triggers with big values like those um, so yeah that's how it works and you know I can come here I can decrease the amount of cash um, did I decrease the amount of rebirth I have and the seal just to show you know it all works nicely and yeah that's the whole thing very easy to uh, you know depending on how much the different values 
um, you want to set up. It might like require some amount of triggers, but you know it, it's pretty easy to set up the like any amount of like any type of stats that you want, and it will just create the table. So basically, it will just work. And yeah, um, so this is the entire thing. Um, so that was all to access the code or the assets of, assets of this video, you can check our Patreon. So thanks for watching, like, subscribe and share if you enjoyed and also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next. See you later.